This presentation provides a tutorial for Sprat system use for evaluators. Browser-based access to the Evaluator app is available from connected accounts in the Sprat system. For access to the iOS and Android versions of the app, please contact the Sprat office. This tutorial addresses general navigation within the app, editing the evaluation roster, initiating, grading, and completing the evaluation, including assigning codes and submitting session data, and viewing evaluation history. When opened, the Evaluator app displays a list of evaluations assigned to the evaluator. The Download button in the top left corner may be used to refresh the evaluation list and all associated data from the server. If the list of evaluations is not correct after refreshing, logging out using the button in the bottom left corner and then logging back in should resolve this issue. Once an evaluation is selected, available interfaces in the app are provided in the menu button in the top left corner. Selecting the View Session Record button displays the evaluation roster. Three candidates were previously added by the evaluation session host. Candidate affidavits must be completed through the Evaluator app. Note that two candidate affidavits have already been completed. After selecting a candidate, Evaluation information, such as their testing level, written test, and experience hours may be updated. To access the candidate affidavit, select the candidate followed by the Sign Affidavit button. After all checkboxes are selected and the signature is captured, select the Submit Affidavit button. Note that the signed column in the roster is updated to reflect the recently captured signature. The darker shaded photo icons indicate that a photo has been previously captured for a candidate. Adding the missing candidate's photo is completed by selecting the candidate, the photo button, and then following the prompts. For additional candidates, select the Add New Candidate button. If a candidate previously participated in an evaluation, search for their account first by SPRAT number, then by their email address. If their account cannot be found or accessed, please contact the SPRAT office. In this example, I create a new account by entering the candidate's name and birth date. After adding the candidate's unique email address, I add the candidate's written test score and testing level. After verifying that this information is correct, I add this fourth candidate to the roster. The new candidate should receive a notification providing instruction on how to access their new account. I again select the candidate from the roster to complete their candidate affidavit. Prior to initiating the evaluation, the site safety checklist must be completed, signed, and submitted. Independence must be verified, and any notes from the evaluation or variations to the host agreement must be documented and saved. When initiating the evaluation, the app will check to see if photos and written test scores have been captured for all candidates. You may have noticed that I left one written test blank earlier in the evaluation roster. I return to the evaluation roster, select the candidate, update the written test score, save the record, and return to the evaluation actions list. When I initiate the evaluation now, the app generates the grading records based on the candidate levels. This may take a few moments to complete. Once completed, the app will display the test scoring form. The test scoring form displays a column for each candidate, with rows corresponding to requirements based on each candidate's testing level. To assign a requirement to a candidate, single tap or select the corresponding box. The box will turn green. To issue a pass, a double tap or double select will change the corresponding box from green to blue. Grades may also be issued using the interface called by a tap and hold gesture 
or by a right click. A memo field, which is tied to voice recording in the standalone app, is intended to help with assigning codes later. Issued grades may be reset at any time if signatures have not yet been captured. As you may assign a candidate many requirements at a time, the Assign All Started to Pass button at the bottom of each column is intended to assist in grading efficiency. Once a candidate has completed all necessary requirements for their testing level, the Capture Signature button will appear at the bottom of the column. The Capture Signature button will also appear for three issued discrepancies or one issued fail. The Upload button in the top right corner shows that data stored locally has not been synced with the server. Issuing a discrepancy or fail will automatically trigger a sync event. Alternatively, you can manually trigger a sync event. The app tracks the remaining number of optional requirements remaining for a candidate to complete the evaluation. If the Capture Signature button is not viewable, not all required grades have been recorded. The discretionary box is intended to capture an issued second discrepancy for a requirement. Unless this has occurred, issue a pass for this box. Signatures may be captured as soon as a candidate completes their individual evaluation. Verify that the correct result is displayed prior to collecting and submitting the signatures. Capturing a signature also automatically triggers a sync event. Once all signatures have been captured, the assigned codes and session review interfaces become available. Within the Assigned Codes interface, selecting an issued discrepancy or fail will render the evaluation rubric. Any memo recorded when the discrepancy or fail was issued is displayed at the top of the screen. Once all codes have been assigned, navigate to the Session Review interface. This interface is intended to ensure that codes have been assigned and that the recorded practical and written test results are correct before submitting evaluation data to the SPRAD office. It's recommended to take a screenshot of this display for your records. The Submit Results action is only available from the Session Review screen. Once selected, all evaluation data is submitted to the server. Wait for both the SPRAT number and notification pop-ups to ensure that all data has been processed correctly. Please report any anomalies immediately to the SPRAT office. Your evaluation history is viewable by selecting the finished sessions in your personal account. This feature may be used to ensure that data submitted to the SPRAT office has been recorded correctly after completing an evaluation. Thank you for watching this tutorial for evaluators. If you have further questions, please contact the SPRAT office.